from the Netherlands are called, aren't they? Ooh, let's get in here. Sorry. <laughs> well, because because the Netherlands is where people are always uh, when people like it's the it's the classic joke. A news reporter or a comedian goes on the street, asks people where people from where Dutch people are from, and the joke is always that a lot of them say Dutchland as opposed to uh, the actual answer. <laughs> uh, hello everybody, Draft, Anomalous, Zero, Twitch, YouTube, search for Vincent Simpler, Magic Gathering Strut, or an mtgostrat.com. Yeah, well. Some people are just ignorant and willful. Okay, so there's two choices I see here. Should I go for the Devout Invocation, which I don't think is worth anything, or the safe, awesome pick of Chandra's Outrage? Next best card, like, yeah. Devout Invocation is worth half a ticket, so, I don't know. Feel free to chime in. Uh, eh, let's just have some fun. I don't know if two people are watching. You're watching. And oh, Dan Bopes is here, but he hasn't said anything. Possibly he's just still here from last night. No, I don't I don't think so. I'm not on my channel page. So there is a bubbling cauldron, a messenger drake, a root walla, and a pitchburn drevels. Well, yeah, they're two sack enablers. What do you think? I really like Root Walla, though probably Green White's terrible. And like Messenger Drake. Uh, I guess Red White has some sliver synergy. You like Green White? Really? Uh, the rare was taken, so I can't really. I like Messenger Drake a lot. Uh, oh wow, I would have had Gnawing Zombie, Thingamajig, Act of Treason. Yeah, I guess I should have taken that route, Walla. Should have went with your opinion. <laughs> I could take a Sentry Deprivation here. I don't know, is Baloth better than Sentry Deprivation? There's also a cancel. And I have no idea what I should be taking. You don't think Sentry Dip? It's the blue sword's the plasma. Well, I could take a cancel. Or I could take a behemoth and just take my 30 cents and run. Yeah. I like Sentry Deprivation because it's good against the uh, Intimidators. In Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I should have been... Oh, I'm not switching to black. So I think I'll take the Mana Wef Sliver here. Yeah. It'll, I might have an awkward second pack. Or... Yeah, okay. So the best card in the pack is a Cursed Spirit. Guess I'm not blue either. Like, I'm not going to take a Pillar Field Ox. I guess so. Hmm. Well, there's a late wall of frost. And, like, it's probably better than a plummet or a minotaur or a ring flesh. But black and. I don't know. It's hard to say because I think black and green might be the most open. I always thought that wall of frost was supposed to be a high pick for the black or the gr blue deck, though. I think it's Minotaur or Wall of Frost. Like, I don't know. I like Wall of Frost. Whoa! <laughs> okay. As much as I love Time Ebb, I really like 3-3s three for 3. So, if we would if I would have followed your advice, yeah. And taken the, mess the Root Wall over the Messenger Drake. I'd have a much better deck now. 
Uh, not really anything here besides troll hide. If I'm gonna run an enchantment, I think I'd rather have a troll hide. Um, ooh, windstorm actually, yeah. I'd rather have a windstorm for the sideboard than a groundbreaker sliver. Uh, never know. I still might be white. Fuck signals, just. <laughs> I could take a foil show of valor, a vial of poison, which is not very good in my deck. Dawn Strike Paladin might be okay. I'll take the Dawn Strike Paladin. Foil Staff of the Sun Magus. Yeah, Paladin puts Troll Hide as a thing. Um. Yeah. And Dark Favor. I appreciate that that came late. It's a terrible card. I guess I should have. No, nah, I guess you might lose to it. So. So I'm almost certainly not going to be. Wish Lifebane Zombie. That's. I think that's worth something. Yeah, Lifebane Zombie is worth two and a half. Or two and a half? Two? So I'm going to take it. No, it's Swiss. You have to take the $2 card. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't here... I could see the Accord. I might want to take the safer pick of the Bayloth. But, uh... Yeah. I can see the Accord. I do have two Dawn Strike Paladins. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, and I could still be black. Who knows? Uh, Shulhide. Wow, Chandra's Outrage. Even though I passed a Chandra's Outrage, that pack was not good. Beside the Chandra's Outrage in the pack, I don't know. I guess they might have. I guess we didn't see a lot of red after that, though. So I guess they probably jumped out of it. Let's just show all. We have an Accursed Spirit, a Life Bane Zombie. Don't want to play that. Uh. Yeah, I would rather have a Root Walla than a Mark of the Vampire. So, do I want to play green-white? Just ignore the blue, since we didn't get a lot of blue after that, besides the one late time ebb. And then I would take the Wall of Swords here, I think. Just some sort of controly green white deck that wants to draw its devout invocation. Well, I could take Sentinel too. Um. That is tough. Yeah, let's go with the Sentinel. Oh, look. I could take a Plummet. Wow, Liturgy. <laughs> I shouldn't waffle. I'm probably not playing black, even though I saw the Liturgy. And this doesn't look like a Fortify deck. I think I just want the Wall of Swords, right? Yeah, like... Oh, I'll hide that for now. Yeah. Okay. Well, interesting that Voracious Worm has a lot of synergy with the two Dawn Strike Paladins. Uh, but I probably Griffin Sentinel still... Yeah. I only have the one enchantment so far. Yeah, there's not a, a lot of good enchantments to get back with Oromancer. I don't actually like two power two drops in this format. They just get stopped by everything. I think I'd rather have the Griffin Sentinel. <laughs> what is this doing here? I even passed a lot of black. I guess black's pretty open. So... 
I could take the Brave the Elements. That might be okay. But I'm guessing Sentinel Sliver is going to be the pick. Just because it has minor synergy with Mana Wef Sliver and has a 2 drop with Vigilance, I guess. Brave the Elements is a good card, but. Okay. I think I'd much rather have a Steel Form Sliver than a Brindle Boar. And Solemn Offering's okay, but I should have a lot of options to pick those up on the wheel in this pack specifically. And Divine Favor is just terrible. Uh, ooh, Master of Diversions? Interesting. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I don't think anyone's drafting the... Yeah, Master Diversions is a very good white card. <laughs> Having my cake and eating it too? Uh, let's see. File of Poison has actually gotten better in my deck. Because I have, like, the 1-4s, and the, I don't really want to play the... Yeah. But, um, I think just another Griffin Sentinel. And this is an easy show of valor. Speaking of enablers, Divine Favor, then a swing with a Dawnstrike Paladin. Uh, I'm not sure if that's better than Fortify in this deck, though. Eh, I that, that might have been supposed to be Fortify. Zephyr Charge, Zephyr the Sun Magus, which I probably... Oh! Yeah, I guess... Yeah, you're right. I was not... I should have taken the... I'm just... Like Staff of the Sun Magus, and... That's okay. Huh, so do I want Garrix Horde or Master of Diversions? Because I do believe the Stonehorn Enchanter is coming back. Oh, this deck's really defensive. It's probably going to have enough time to play the Garrix Horde. Like, the, the Master doesn't really help us unless we get, like, a Colony Tusker into Master Diversion deck. And the way this is shaping up, it looks like Colony Tusker is just going to be a 2-mana 4-drop. Like a Ground Sarah Angel. So, uh, as much as I would love an Elvish Mystic... Obviously, pacifism. Huh. Another young pyromancer? Jeez. Well, here's interesting in that I already have three slivers to go with the predatory sliver. I don't. I have one beast to go with the advocate, and then there's just the root walla. I'm leaning towards the Root Walla, but Sliver? Eh, I, I don't think it's the Advocate. Over the sliver. Oh, hey, 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 how you doing there, Bailoth? Mr. Bailoth. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, none of the Solemn's offerings or naturalizes tabled. Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I have enough for Door of Destinies. And that's only... <laughs> uh, troll hide over the other Sentinel Sliver? Yeah, with all the Griffin Sentinels. The Sliver might actually come back. I 
I'm not sure that there's anyone else in white. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too worried about my Griffin Sentinels with troll hides on them dying. I'm gonna take the Sentinel Sliver, probably right. Or Mancer might even table from this pack. It does. It can get back a troll hide if I tap out to put it on a Sentinel and it gets Doom Bladed or something. Um, yeah, I definitely want another Griffin Sentinel. Uh, Charging Griffin, easy. It does stuff, I'm not saying. Okay, Stonehorn Chanter? Or, let's probably cut this wall, that wall. Cut the staff. Am I even going to be playing the Stonehorn Chanter? Cut that. Well, I don't know if I'll run the Accord Package anymore. Yeah, we'll see how it shapes up. Uh, now I'll take this Fortify. I should have two. And it'll be good to side in again in like a grindy matchup. Where I can like... Do stuff. Yeah, I should have that other... Fortify two. Um, ooh, uh, well, okay. Master Diversions didn't table, but... Uh, at this point, I think I just want to brave the elements. Most of my creatures are white. Oh, wow. And, yeah. And with all this vigilance, Devoted Invocation even gets even better. Um, man, I could have just, I could just go all in. Almost mono white. But I guess that's probably bad. Uh, what am I most likely to lose to? Oops, what did I take there? Oh, okay, good. Uh, fog for the sideboard. Interesting there. I could have, like, went all in mono white, two staffs, a cord, and stuff. I. Splashing. Playing the green's probably better. I, I'd have a hard time dealing with, uh, four powered creatures. I think. Well, maybe show a valor. It's hard to say. Uh, maybe. No, I don't even know if I want this Wall of Swords. Or these Dawn Strike Paladins? We'll see. The Blessing? I don't know what Blessing you're talking about. Oh, that aura. Yeah, that's okay. So that's 22. I don't know if I really would want to run the Tusker. Yeah. I'm not even sure if I want to run the Bayloth, but... Like, I'm okay running these, like, run a 10-7 mana base. And that this is fine. Like, when I hit 7 mana, I should probably have 2 green. But I could cut, like, those for the Dawn Strike Paladins or something. Yeah. Just go like that. And then like 10-7. Because I don't have any double... Uh, double... Plus Chanter? Oh, I only have 22. Really? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Though I probably still want to draw. Or is this deck 
not want to draw. I think I can afford to draw. Hmm. Yeah. I guess if I would have got two Angelica chords, I probably would have started taking staffs the sun megas higher. And then you just go to town. Or if I had a cauldron. So I've just had a way to straight up gain four life. Uh, yeah, with all the enchantment removal we saw getting hated, these troll hides might not stick around, but hopefully they'll deal enough damage while they're out. 16 creatures is a pretty good amount to run with Garrick's Horde. And I have enough white creatures that brave the elements should be pretty good. Is that right? I mean, yeah. Alright, let's see what you suggest. 12, 5. Probably can't get away with that. Could maybe do ten six, but or, uh, yeah. I think because I only need one white until turn five, ten's probably okay. Uh, I'm gonna submit and join me for the.